I am a powerful woman. It's hard to imagine, but Jennifer Aniston used to have serious doubts about her self-worth. Stupid, boring, unattractive, not being able to hold on to a man, a sad, childless woman. That is what she used to feel like in the past. By the age of 55, Jennifer Aniston has learned to know her worth, but little did we know that her confidence stems from years of being nagged and humiliated by her own mother, and then by every aspect of her life being studied under the microscope of publicity. If you're looking for some inspiration or feeling blue and insecure, you've come to the right place. Jennifer Aniston's story of overcoming her insecurities and dyslexia to rightfully become the Hollywood powerhouse that she is today is truly one of a kind. At the tender and critical age of 11, a parental figure approached Jen after a dinner party to tell her a certain observation of theirs, an observation that Jen would carry with her into adulthood. That person told Jen she had been excused from the table because she didn't have anything interesting to bring into the conversation. Even as a confident, mature woman, Aniston found it difficult to dismiss these painful words. I always felt incredibly comfortable giving a voice to the words of others, but put me in a table full of strangers and I'd go right back to being 11 years old. It is important to the actress to change the way we talk to young kids, especially girls. The things we say and do can either build them up or tear them down and make them feel like maybe their voices don't matter. And Aniston knows firsthand how it feels when a loved one tears you down. And not only a parental figure at a dinner party, but your own mother as well. Jen has found her happy place a while ago. Her job, her great family and friends are her sources of happiness. Today, Aniston is the world's fifth highest paid actress. I have opportunities and I can acknowledge that I know where I've come from, I know what I've gone through, and I know how fortunate and blessed I am to be where I am today. But all her mother, actress Nancy Dow, saw was flaws. From a young age, Nancy said Jen's eyes were too close together and too small, that her face is too wide, that Jen had her father's mouth. Nancy was an actress and a model who cared about presentation and looks the most. She used to tell 13-year-old Jennifer to put her eyes on when going to the market, to Jennifer's confusion. She was critical. She was very critical of me, Aniston recalled. The star always adds that her mom was gorgeous and stunning, but not her, and Jen was never the model child Nancy hoped for. Aniston describes her mother as unforgiving and holding petty grudges. That is why Aniston was happy to leave her mother's house. Living under the same roof had its challenges. The mother-daughter relationship suffered another blow when Nancy published a book about them in 1999, titled From Mother and Daughter to Friends, A Memoir. Yeah, what a beautiful book. Everybody should get a copy. Jennifer was so furious she did not invite her mother to her wedding to Brad Pitt in 2000. Later in life, the superstar learned to understand what made Nancy the woman she was. Nancy's own parents were basically non-existent, and she learned to use her beauty to make a living by modeling. Next, Nancy's marriage to Jennifer's father, actor John Aniston, wasn't a happy one. I mean, honestly, the best thing that came out of it was my, was my sense of humor. So she had to care about Jen and deal with an absent husband. Eventually, Jennifer came to realize that her mother was expressing her love in the only way she knew how, without knowing that she would be making deep wounds. In 2015, Aniston talked about living with dyslexia, a learning disorder characterized by difficulty reading due to problems identifying speech sounds and learning how they relate to letters and words. The condition had affected Jen's education and self-esteem. Library, she says, was not her favorite place. I thought I wasn't smart, Aniston said. I just couldn't retain anything. After being diagnosed, she felt like many of her childhood traumas were explained. She is a powerful inspiration for those suffering from the same condition. I'm not ashamed of that. No, no, uh-uh. Well, no one should be. From being a poor student and believing she just wasn't that smart, Jennifer Aniston went on to become one of the most iconic characters in TV history and a prolific award-winning actress, director, and producer. Courtney and I are here to present an award to our forever cherished person. Fame, however, brought her new challenges. Her two marriages, to Brad Pitt and Justin Thoreau, ended up in divorce. Although Jen does not consider her relationships with her exes as failure, there still was public scrutiny and the public expecting something from her. Yeah, just don't pay attention best you can. A couple of years ago, Aniston was at a film festival in Italy where a teenage fan asked if she ever woke up in the morning and didn't know who she was. 
There are not enough fingers and toes in this entire room to count how many times that moment has happened to me, Jennifer responded candidly. And you just have to sort of somehow miraculously overcome. You just go, I can't, yes I can, yes you can. Jennifer Aniston says she has worked too hard in her life to be reduced to a sad, childless human. Picture of me with a b bump and a circle around my stomach with an arrow pointing to it. She says it took her years to gain the confidence that she is worth fighting for, and she is. 